Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Welcome back, friends. Well, we had some scattered showers and thunderstorms roll through earlier today. Now we're just left with mostly fair skies, a little bit on the cloudy side, but at least it's keeping temperatures down. Right now in Baton Rouge, it's 82 degrees. North wind at 3, the dew point 76, so it feels like 90 out there. But at this time of year, we'll take even that 82% on our humidity. Here's a look at the live Viper radar. Here's the wave of storms that moved through earlier. Now moving into southern Mississippi away from us. You can see some storms just to the south and east of Bogalusa. Also a little bit of activity south of New Orleans. A few showers in our area and we're going to see these showers as we go through the evening hours. Taking it closer in view, you can see some scattered showers also near New Orleans right now as well. And these storms are going to be back again tomorrow as we have another wave of energy rolling by generating those scattered showers and storms. This afternoon we picked up around half an inch or just a little bit under that in Denham Springs, Plaquemine, as well as Napoleonville. A lot of places picked up a little over a tenth of an inch with those scattered storms and we're going to see those type of amounts again tomorrow. Some places could pick up a quick inch or so in some of the heavier storms. Right now look at these temperatures. Isn't this nice? 77 in Macomb. 78 in Kenwood, 79 in New Roads in False River, as well as St. Francisville, 82 right now here in the city. Look at the water vapor loop. Look at all this moisture that's in the western Gulf of Mexico. That is working its way to the north, and as we go into tomorrow, the wave of energy will come by, and we'll start to see those scattered showers and storms repeat again tomorrow, and then perhaps again on Thursday, and then rain chances are going to start going down as we go towards the weekend. So tomorrow, here comes another wave of storms, and then as we go into Thursday, yet another wave of storms in the afternoon and evening hours, and then as we go into Friday, we're going to start to see the rain chances start to retreat a little bit back further to the west into Texas as that upper level low retrogrades back over the Lone Star State. In the meantime, we're going to see isolated storms in our area. Not everyone's going to get wet. They're just going to be scattered around and more of an isolated basis. Here's a look at the forecast rainfall amounts between now and Sunday evening. We could pick up around another inch or so here in the city. Higher amounts to the south, lighter up towards the north. Lows tonight are going to be in the mid 70s with scattered showers around 78 down in Morgan City. Then as we head into tomorrow, We'll see temperatures in the mid 80s with again scattered storms around with light and variable winds. And then as we go into Thursday morning, lows once again in the mid 70s. And then as we go into Thursday afternoon, you guessed it, another wave of storms coming up from the south and west with highs in the upper 80s. How about the next seven days? Well, as we go towards the weekend, temperatures start to rise into the 90s again. And notice the rain chances start to decrease from 40% on Friday to only 10% on Sunday and even less than that as we go into the early part of next week. 